beautiful pair bears, and welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge! Yay! Okay, so as you have known from the previous episode that I did find my save files, and we are kicking back up with our OG version of the Not So Berry, and we are here, of course, today with my beautiful Cassie, and we will be continuing. So. I do play a little bit off camera and of course our wonderful mint berry queen uh, Katrina is now level 9 in her career but she has everything else done for her. So we will be working along with her career to finish it up but at the same time um, we will be starting our beautiful rose generation 2. Now in the last video I did ask the question of what would people like and I got contacted on Instagram on my sins with Shelley Instagram account where people liked the idea of the teen pregnancy um, way for the next gen for the yellow generation and the next gen has to have a very strong relationship with her grand, uh, grandmother so like her grandparents and then I was just kind of like okay how do we do this Um, so if of course Cassie was to have a baby when she was a teenager she wouldn't be able to kind of focus on her her dreams for the future which is she wants to become a politician and I was just kind of like okay okay how do we make this work so I came up with a storyline for our beautiful rose generation of she had a baby as a teenager and her mother and her father helped her raise the child which is why they have such a strong bond so while she finished out her high school and of course we will send her to college I think I'm still trying to figure out if we want to do that um, they all they continued looking after her and then they retire and they spend a lot of their retirement of course with their granddaughter um, so I'm very very happy about this she can only have one child so we have to make sure that it's a girl so I have the whole eating strawberries and listening to pop music for a girl and that's what we'll do because we're only allowed to have one baby isn't it yeah for the yellow generation she can only have one baby so I cannot wait to jump straight into this guys and I can not wait for you guys to enjoy this with me so I have her practicing her speech because one of the books she has said she's um, high charisma isn't it like, yeah, so we're working on her charisma scale. Okay, so generation two rose. You had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in The Sims 4, you would, you would have it. So since these rules were written, there's been an update in the games and with the whole um, mount, blah, 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 you know which one I'm on about. Um, we can have certain traits now, so workaholic trait she will get. Um, you have absolutely no maternal instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. Um, she can only have one child, she has to master the politician career and complete the serial romantic aspirations. She has to master the charisma skill. She has to leave someone at the altar and she has to get married for the first time as an elder. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting gen. Very interesting, Jen. So I'm having her work on her charisma skill. Um, also, one of the things that happened is she has a very... She already has a natural like for fitness. So she does. Oh, my microphone is still... Okay, she has a master... I have to do... A natural instinct for fitness. So as you can see here, she has a natural like for fitness, so I'm happy with that, so I actually do send her vlogging. Um, I never got them a pet, and I really wanted to do this whole pet thing. When I was doing the rebooted version of it, I gave her a special little meaty cash. Um, but I think for now, I might wait until she moves out. So we're going to go down the team pregnancy route, and because of MC Command Center, I can make it happen. So. After she finishes um, this, I am going to let her go out and meet some people. Um, she has a romance with someone right now, Peyton. Peyton Teen. So I'm actually going to invite, um, we're going to go and hang out somewhere together. And this is where it's all going to happen. Um, girl, you can take a break. Um, so we're going to invite him on a date. 
Do we have okay. to write? Let's just, um, I have to write one, right? Serial romantic, okay. Just have three first kisses. Okay, so what's going to happen is because of this um, aspiration, she's not going to think she's doing anything wrong. So we're going to go and ask him on a date. Her, that's all she knows. She only knows pain. Evie. These are all her family. I want her to meet, meet more people. She's going to need to meet more people. She's a serial romantic. Now, I know with the Sim um, the Simda app, we can get through the serial romantic part of it a little bit quicker. But I kind of want to wait until she's an adult and she's in the politician career and the only time she has time for love affairs and stuff is between lunch meetings and uh, stuff like that. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go somewhere... Like, let's go to Solani because you can do things in the waterfall. Okay, it's the waterfall over here, it is. Okay, so we'll go... Okay, we have to go somewhere near here, is it? Alright, we'll go here. And that's gonna be our date. Okay, and straight away she is just putting the moves on with our Peyton guy. So they're already pretty much like, you know, into each other. I just kind of want to do this whole date thing because I think later on it's... Oh, look at her. Turning on the flirts. Okay. So I want to find the waterfall. I know we're not near it at the moment, but we can be. What's that? Okay. Right. Um... Where are you, waterfall? We're nowhere near it, are we? We could have them go snorkel together. Uh, okay, there we go. Are they going snorkeling? Okay, they are off snorkeling. I wish there was somewhere they can just woo. Just for the storyline. I love this. I wish they could actually just, you know, interact with it. Oh, there's an easel up here. I've never noticed this before. There's so many different pathways, places. So, it's so beautiful all around here. I love Solani. Maybe one of the gens we can actually have moved to Solani. What do you think, guys? Is he following? I don't know. Oh yeah, he's following. He's a very slow swimmer though, she's not. This is so huge. Okay. Can they do romantic actions in the water? Is there a water kiss? Kiss in the water. Let's stop snorkeling. Okay, you better still be building your skills. Um. Okay. Dude! She wants to kiss you in the water! Oh my god, this annoys me so much. Just come up. They're like, their romance is very, very high. I'm letting her just keep him for a while as a boyfriend till we do something. Okay. I'm just going to cancel the date. Right, it's not like a successful date. But I'm going to have them both travel to the Moa, Mo, what's it, to the waterfall in Moa Pau. Here we go, Palam. Palam. Right, we're gonna go there together and she's bringing Peyton with her. There we go. Okay, so she's about to ask him if he wants to mess around in the waterfall. Woohoo! Okay, they're off to mess around. Feeling smitten. From feeling enamored with someone nearby. Feeling great from high needs and someone's watching. From feeling enamored with someone nearby. Okay, we already got this. Why is it twice? Oceanic Splendor. I love that. 
Um, good grades from grade improvement. Okay, actually, what are you now? An A. Okay, okay, okay. You need to finish your homework though uh, for the morning because you're back to school tomorrow. So, like, I'd spend the rest of the, the day she's left as a. Um, no, not right now. Thank you, but. Um, but I'd spend the rest of the time. Um, and her encouraging, you know, like improving her grades and try and get through the rest of this um, serial romantic as quickly as we can so that the whole of her young adulthood will be focused on her career and then her adulthood would be focused on um, like she can't get married till she's an elder but we could find our potential uh, person while in her adulthood and focusing on her career and um, things like that Woohoo! There you go. That's what I call a rope. So, my ways of keeping um, each generation preserved so that we can always have back is the house that we started off the generation in. There will always be a member of the family living in it. So, um, like the kids of our other. Uh, daughter Ruth and then her kids kids and all that kind of stuff. I want to keep that house going um, let's Keep messing around <laughs> and playing in there and showering <laughs> Catch frogs and playing with all right, okay So we're gonna do all that kind of stuff Um, like they're just a bunch of teenagers her first kind of little romance um, and then it, We might do the whole like very uncomfortable. Why is he very uncomfortable? Are they going back in to mess around? Is this is happening. Yeah? I think so. Yeah, they're, they're just messing around. There's all the froggies. Okay. And then they're just going to go home because it's getting late or we're going to, like, it's the best way to say it. And then, um, yeah, we're just going to leave it into God's hands. Okay, so. Time to go home, my dear. She caught a frog. So she brought back a souvenir um, with her. And this is a striped heart frog. Wow, okay. Girl, you know what you want. Okay, you got a heart frog. There we go. Okay, so the kids have gone to school. Katrina is here trying to get her last break through because we will get a promotion if she does good in, in work today. Oh, she's thinking about one of her sons. We actually should have a family reunion one of the days. Actually, we should. Um, just so, you know, they can all come over. Who left their school book at home? Oh, more than likely, this is our girl, Cassie. Okay, so yeah, we should have a family reunion. Um, can I actually create a group? Okay, we can create a group. Um, we'll do like family dinners, okay? Because there's a new mod I have where you can have like baby showers and stuff like that as well. So I would do all that stuff, but it'd be Katrina that would organize everything. All right, okay. So people as she talks, of course, Zachary, Ross, and Russell. And okay, Zachary. Ross and Russell. Okay, when the girls come home from school, we'll be able to add them. So the requirements. There's no requirements. And uh, club activities is just having dinner together. Just eat. Okay. There we go. When the two girls come home from school, we'll be able to add them to the group. Around the herbalism skills, Zachary acquired the herbalism skill. Cassie's responsibilities in range for the responsibility tray. Okay, I love stuff like that. Have I got them? All right, you do homework in class. And girl, you need to listen to the teacher. Because actually, I'll have them both listen to the teacher because they'll, um, their skills will be better. Okay. You need your final breakthrough. Okay. For us to get to our... Um, Actually, you have to go to work in a few minutes, so I'll just let you watch TV. Um, retake the test. Okay, there you go. Um, but I love our little mint house, and I love that upstairs we've got um, two different personalities for the kids. 
This is our rose generations room. I will be changing up as we go along. We will have to make a baby room, so we might lose our little wellness area. Um, knowing Katrina and like how much she is going to be a great grandmother, we're going to join her it for just work. Takes too much time every episode, so I'll do this off camera. I'll get a new, we'll get a new lab. Okay, so we need to tinker after drinking a fixer look serum. How do we make a fixer look serum? Red hot. Um, how do we do that? Okay. I'm not even going to try it. Upgrade the satellite dish. Do I have the satellite dish with me? I do. Okay. So I'll pop you in there. Let's upgrade. Upgrade satellite dish. Okay. So while you're doing that, I need to send, I need to mix a smart serum. Okay. Is this it? Okay, um, synthesize serum and use, I need to make this smart. Oh, we can, okay. Okay, and then we tinker after drinking that. Okay, um, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory right now, even a book. So, Good satellite dish, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna mix the smart serum and then we have to tinker after we do that. Okay, we have our satellite dish done. Cast the buttons good grades, okay. Mind control is sim to clean, okay. Who do we got? No, we're not friends with you. How are we not friends with any of these people? Do we just always kind of use... Alright, okay, so what is it? Uh, mind control in sim to clean. Mind control, clean please. These are very silly um, tasks. Okay. Go girl. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, she got it. Contact aliens. Are you for freaking real? Okay. Um, pause. Okay, so what? We drag this out here. I'd rather it be in the same room that she's in at the time she's doing her, the task she's to do at that time. Um, because, you know, it's like less traveling. <laughs> okay, mind control seemed clean. We're doing that right now. You are, aren't you? Yeah. And then we do that. Tinker after drinking the serum. The the fixer look serum. I have to do another thing. Uh fixer look. We don't have fixer look serum. Okay, pause. Okay. Upgrade the sim ray with mind control panic. Okay. We have to upgrade the sim ray. Alright, where are you? I'm gonna keep you there for a second. You need to start a neighborhood hive mind. Start neighborhood hive mind. Okay, so how do I do this? Okay. Click on the start and go um okay. To okay, how about a happy town? We all like a happy town. And then we'll go back here and I need to alright, okay, so while she tuned that, pop this in here. Um, we'll repair first and then upgrade the sim ray for panic. Okay. Good girl. And mix ox strength serum. Key. Okay. There's a lot of mix this and mix that and mixy mixity mix. Okay. Synthesize. Um, we need strength serum. And how am I meant to do a strength serum? Ox strength. Okay, I need spinach. Okay, great. Have I got spinach? No, I've got sage, basil, and parsley. Okay, we need to upgrade simray for panic. There we go. This should be helping me. 
tinker after well, after I drink something, snake oil, synthetic food, so smart. Ooh. Okay. I have a feeling I'm meant to know some more theorems, but I'm not. I'm missing something. I think I'm missing something. Um Where is our our bestie? Is she not in? Is she not in? I think she's not in. Okay. Wow. Okay. Make some ravenous. Uh, make some ravenous. Um, okay. Pause. Uh, here's our girl here. So I need to use mind control and make someone each side. Uh, I get you now. Okay, so do it to treat people. There's Sh Shari. Okay, I'm gonna use it on you too, my dear. Eat. Ooh, grades are up. Roots and A student. Uh, okay. And then my control and eat. That's three people. Finish in four hours. Okay, where are you? Hi. You're evil. Did I miss the evil laugh? Oh my god, she's evil. Sure, he's getting it now. fun. Is she starving? <laughs> she gone. Okay, we've one more person to do. Come on, girl. And then we can just tinker to get our final. Um. <laughs> Okay, we've completed upgrade the cloning machine to clone Sims. Oh, for frickin' heck. Please tell me I have my cloning machine with me. Yes, queen. Let's upgrade this. <laughs> upgrade the cloning machine. Can I upgrade it without it being there? Oh, it actually has to be in here. Oh, okay, I get it now. Um, let's upgrade the cloning machine. <laughs> and Tinker, okay. The girl can't just do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm so excited. Like, what? Will we stay late just so we can upgrade stuff? I'm going to stay late. We're going to stay late just so I can upgrade. Here we go. I want to get my last... Um, here as well. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. So we've got our wormhole generator. I need to go back and get my satellite dish. I'm not eating my satellite dish here. Come me. Go. This is all the kind of stuff that can be left to um, our, our beautiful granddaughter. Do you know that kind of way? Um, did we get our final? <gasps> we got our final breakthrough. Uh -uh. How's our girls doing? Okay, I'm going to have them. I'm going to have her building her writing skill. And I'll have, of course, our beautiful uh, Cassie. We'll have her building her... What are you doing? Okay, you stop using that. Okay, we finished work in an hour. Did we finish our upgrading? Okay. Alright, stop. Okay, so this will this is fine now, yeah? We clone a sim? Oh my god, we're gonna clone a sim. Girl, get off, because you finished work in 47 minutes. Alright, doesn't matter, we'll do it at home. Come on! Clone her. Like, I want you to have an evil twin. <gasps> oh my god, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Is she gonna clone herself? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Are we gonna have an e an evil Katrina? Oh, what we, we're not stop. No, what? What? 
happens to her now? What happens to her now? We clone an evil Sim. What happens? Oh my god, no, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. <gasps> oh my god, I want I want my yoke back. Okay, are we going? Hi. Ruby Berry! This is Ruby. Um Oh my god! <laughs> so when we clone her. This is Ruby. And she's class of her sister. <laughs> And she's living with us! Oh my god, no! I need to give her her own house! And she even has like... She, I, I, I don't know what this... Alright, who's this? This is Katrina, I need to change her over clothes! Oh my god, guys, I don't know what to do! I was just doing it for a bit of laugh, but oh my god! So this is Ruby. And Ruby is, like, she has no job or anything. She just got to clone all of her stuff. Oh my god, this is hilarious. I'm going to have to remove her from the family. <laughs> because, you know, it's cheating if I have her there. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> but okay, Katrina, you're there. I didn't, all right, I didn't remove the wrong one. Okay, so she's all her breakthroughs done. She's good performance. So tomorrow we should get our final promotion. Um, she has a new sister. We cloned her. Yay. Okay, well, that's cool. All right. But, you know, Katrina's still older than her. <laughs> Look at it. Like, Katrina only has uh, 16 days left until she's an elder. Um, Cassie has nine days until she's a young adult. So I'm kind of hoping. All right, okay. So how do I do this? I want to see if she's preggers. Alright, so can we do a pregnancy test yet? Oh my god, we can. Okay, 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 here we go. Woo, okay girl, go do a pregnancy test, okay? Okay, so then you're going to have to go tell your mum and that. And they're not going to care because they're going to be the most awesomest grandparents ever. Um, But you won't be able to move out when you're a young adult. Not straight away. But we will let, um, of course, our beautiful... Actually, no, I think we want Ruth to stay there. Mm. Because I have an apartment planned for uh, Cassie. So, oh, oh! Congratulations, Cassie is expecting they're going to be a new addition to the household. Oh God! Oh, 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 oh! Wow. Okay. Um, you're gonna have to tell your mum. Um. Oh my god, this is, uh, can we, alright, we can share the big news, okay. Oh my god, how is she going to take it? Is she going to be happy? Is she going to be sad? Is she going to be like, oh my god, how could you be so silly? How could you do this to us? I'm too young to be a grandmother. Oh my god, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I want to see the reaction doll, so I'm going to stop fast forwarding, okay? Oh, Shushka! error okay why is there an error okay guys we're about to see the moment of truth will um katrina be happy or will katrina be sad oh, your mother. Okay, okay, okay kind of look like she was um <laughs> okay i like the hug she's like okay mom i'm pregnant well, okay. is she happy, is she happy? Oh, oh my god, she's actually happy. She's delighted. I'm absolutely 100% chilled. Okay. Um, Give it to me. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Our baby. Our baby. Um. Tips and things like that. Does it show like the pregnant belly on the team? I don't know. Okay, so next thing is she's gonna have to ring um Peyton up. Um, how do we do that? Okay. Um, chat. Alright, you're gonna have to chat with Peyton. You're gonna tell Peyton everything. Okay. Um, okay. 
I'm sleeping. Oh, you rude man. It's only 11 p.m. Okay, so, um, even though she's pregnant, she's still going to have to hit the books really hard, okay? And she's going to have to, this is where she's going to focus. Now, while she's pregnant, she's going to make sure that she gets all of this stuff done before baby comes because she's going to feel like she can't do anything once the baby comes. And then her mum's going to make sure that she um, is taking care of her wellness and things like that. So, um, oh no, we don't want a therapist. Okay, we don't want one of them. Okay. And then um, this is where, of course, our queen, uh, Katrina, is going to be like, oh my God, we need to make room for this baby. What are we going to do? I can't give up my office. Um, but the baby will be here so soon. We can't force Ruth out of her bedroom. So we're going to have to give up our little wellness area. Um, but like she's going she's gonna to be planning all this stuff and everything. She's going to be like, I'm going to be a grandmother. I'm so happy I'm actually going to be a grandmother. And she's going to start thinking about the future. Look, she keeps on hugging her daughters now. Um, we're going to have to, oh, ow. There's so much room. We could, we could change some rooms. We can do so much oh my god we're gonna have to plan a family dinner i want her to tell her brothers oh we're gonna have a baby in the house again for christmas and there's gonna be so many birthdays and everybody's uh, why am i rambling it's not me um <laughs> so she's gonna be extremely excited and she's gonna want to finish up her career when baby comes she wants to spend as much time as she can with her grandchildren she wants to be the favorite grandmother she wants to be the grandmother that all of the grandkids want to go and spend time with and Little does she know that she's literally going to be raising um, Cassie's child for a couple of years. So this is why they will have a really good relationship with her. And um, why I want to actually keep this a family home. So, um, yeah. This is, oh, I'm actually really happy. I'd love for them like to have more kids. Um, but for the next few days, until Cassie ages up... Um, which is like it'll technically be like years or something I think in sim world a few days is uh, so what um eight days in sim world is a eight, eight years I think so and that's the way I'm gonna see it for now okay so I'm just gonna get her to hit the books and keep doing her studies and stuff like that although like it is like really late at night and she is now pregnant so she will have to sleep uh, oh god, I have a custom bed, don't I? I was wondering why it wouldn't let me. Okay, so I'm just going to make the girls actually go to sleep because, you know, they're good. She is such a good student. She's musical. Uh, she's musically talented. Um, so I'm actually really, really happy about that. Um, when Cassie does age up to a young adulthood, I will get her to move into the apartment. But at that stage, you know... Um, I think we'll have a toddler and we'll have, um, I don't know, I think we'll get, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but like everyone's going to bed now, so we're going to pick it up when everyone makes up in the morning. So Katrina came across um, Cassie in her office um, in the night. Um, her and of course Peyton are after having a fight and she's talking to her mom about it, of course. And Katrina's like, well, where do you see this relationship going? Do you want to be with him or is it just like a summer kind of you know like a, a teenage fling and she's like mom I don't I don't really care for him that way I don't really want to be tied down to somebody I just want um I just want to be okay um I don't feel love from him I just I don't want to be tied down just to one person but I'm having his baby and he just doesn't seem to care and like Katrina is just gonna be like look I'm here for you your father's here for you we will help you raise this baby you can you can do your studies and we'll mind the baby here and um we'll help you and she's like I really appreciate that mum but I don't think there's room here for myself and a baby that I might have to look for somewhere else to live and of course like Katrina is just contemplating what's happening now. She's like, I don't want her to move out. I don't want her to leave home. Um, how can I convince her to um stay and um let us help? And like uh, Cassie's down here now and she's like, 
I really like my freedom, this is going to change everything. How am I going to be able to cope with a baby and go for the career I want to be? I want to be a politician, I want to help people um, get what they need. I don't want to be one of these fake politicians who promise all sorts of things, you know. She wants to be a good politician. And her mum comes down and she's just sitting with her and um, she's trying to reassure her that everything will be okay, that she's here for her and her and her father will help look after um, everything. Hello. She doesn't have to struggle if she needs to go and do things for, you know, like for college and things like that, that they will help her and um, that they love Hello. her and will support her 100%. We will pay for everything, you just do your studies, you get where you want to be and then when the time is right you will know when it's time for you and your baby to move on with your life but for now we're here for you, we will support you 100% and she is really listening to her and she's like okay mom, I want to stay here, I want, I want help with the baby and I love you so much and I'm going to make some focus now, I want to cook because I'm feeling emotional with this storyline too um, um, I know there's a hope option here. It's like a it's a dark hope loving There we go. Um, so there we go. Now they're gonna hug. They're gonna get it all out, and she's gonna stay there with them. And when she goes to school in um in a few hours, her mum and her dad are gonna have a little surprise for her when she comes home. Now, Trina, my dear, you need to. Oh, wait, what's going on here? She's feeling sad from shared sadness. Baby blues. Okay. Okay, girl. You're going to go in and you're going to make a vegan breakfast for you and your kids. Okay. Scrambled eggs and bacon. Ugh. Eggs and toast. You're going to just do that. Actually, vegans don't eat eggs, do they? I don't know. I can't remember. As you can tell, guys, I'm not a vegan. And I really don't um, want to come across as if I am or if I know anything about it because I do not. All right, I need to find the option for her to share the big news with her sister because she has not told her yet. Let's go. All right, everybody, go. She's talking to her mom to chat with Katrina. All right, you go, go chat, and Katrina, you go and make breakfast. Okay, uh, 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 uh. No, go make breakfast, thank you. She wants to tell her sister. Okay. Tell her. You didn't tell her. Why didn't you tell your sister? Oh my god, I hate when people do this. Um, I would, I would literally, my sisters would be the first ones I'd go and run into. I'd want them to know. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <gasps> she doesn't look happy first, but okay. She did okay. That's like such a platonic face. She's, all right, okay. She was not happy at the first. Okay, she's angry. Feeling angry from the hot head tray. And she, okay. She's feeling great. And sparkling things around. Okay, 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 right. okay. She did not. Right. A normal sister reaction. She wasn't happy about it. She wasn't sad about it. She was just, okay. We can deal with this. It's fine. We're here for each other. I love it. I love when you got a sister you can share secrets with. Okay. Right, okay, I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit for now. Okay, guys, so before I end this episode, I just want to show you the little bit of a remodel I did. And it's not much, but I just wanted them to have a spare room upstairs for, of course, a Gen Tree, which will be yellow. And I will start taking name suggestions. Now, I do have two in mind that I would like to do. One is Honey, and the other is Daffodil. I know Daffodil's not really, I don't think I've ever heard someone call a child a Daffodil. But a daffodil will be for my father. Um, it was his favourite flower and I would love to bring him into this generation too. So we'll see how things go. But this is the remodeled. Okay, so I moved her office downstairs. So I extended the sitting room out by a square. Like literally this area here. And I moved all of her office stuff downstairs. So she has her area and we still have the piano. And like her family knows she's weird so it doesn't matter. And we moved down the elements board here along with our little plaque we got that time. It's all elemental, so we got all of the elements, which is awesome. And then, like this, not this, this didn't change here at all. So I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay, and you're gonna notice I did not change that upstairs except for this. This is the room, so it's 
Katrina's old office. This will be the room that will be turned into, of course, Jen Tree's um, bedroom. And we still have all of the art from the kids and stuff, which is even better. Now, for the rose generation, as you will notice, I have got a mint coloured uh, storage box here. But since the eco update, you can get cardboard boxes now. So I'm going to actually start keeping things belonging to each generation in the cardboard boxes. So we'll always have a part of them as um, each generation goes on. But for now, guys, I am actually going to end it here. Katrina will be heading off into work soon, but we will continue on with the next episode. I'll probably record straight after this one because I'm in the groove at the moment. But yeah, guys, we have a lot going to happen in the next episode. Um, Cassie is pregnant with Jen Tree. We have to eat strawberries, and she actually has strawberries in her inventory because her father, Zachary, had strawberries. Zachary, right? Yeah. So Zachary Berry... Katrina Berry, and then we cause I have to change the meadows. It's going to be Berry from now on, okay? So, yeah, guys, um, we're going to end it here because it's been a pretty, pretty good episode. And I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day, and I shall see you guys all in the next episode. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell for all of my future uploads. Love ye!